Aaron and Melissa here for Truth Stream Media. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. I don't know if it's just that time of year, but we're back around on the mainstream media BS train to this whole argument about do you really have the right to know what you're eating? I think it has to do with the expected pending lawsuit against states or whoever dares to push for labeling so they can argue they don't have to label things. They have a right not to disclose. I saw this and just couldn't help but hit record. Up at the Motley Fool we have, do Whole Foods customers really have the right to know about Monsanto Foods? Question mark. Because grocery shopping should be like going through a carnival funhouse in the dark, walking <laughs> over broken glass. You know, people with food allergies and seriously compromised immune system and everything. And people should just shove random foods in your mouth and not even know what uh, food food is. No, that's how, that's how I think everyone should eat. We should just all blindfold ourselves and just be like, no, I, I don't know what I'm eating. What the hell? We have the right to know it's in our food. This is, <laughs> I don't even know how people make these arguments, but here's this guy. It's proprietary, Eddie's like grandma baked it in her kitchen. <laughs> food should be a total mystery. Should, don't you want to be surprised by the flavor? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so, so he's talking about how at Whole Foods they've decided to completely label all GMOs, and it says, The policy certainly reverberates with the anti-GMO community that targets biotech seed and agricultural sciences firm Monsanto Company, and it's a smart business decision, although I think it only works to foster consumer mistrust in science and biotechnology. Uh, what? Isn't that just an amazing repeated propaganda line, the idea that not knowing what's in your food is better because you don't want to know. That would confuse you. Ignorance is bliss. Consumer mistrust? I mean, because, you know, when I want to trust something, I want to know as little about it as possible. I don't want to know anything about it at all, in fact. That fosters the most trust, is when a company doesn't tell me jack. That's when I'm like, you know, that's a company I can trust. Here's my money. Feed me crap. Like, this is ridiculous. I, what? So Whole Foods, as you may know, became the first grocery chain to say, we are going to label all the genetically modified foods within five years. But you and I know, Melissa, from our research that they didn't even want to because they have tons of food on their grocery shelves that contain those ingredients. Yeah, they do. Despite their organic, nothing artificial ever image. But they got pressured into it by activists and by their own consumers. So they're like, all right, but we're going to, you know. Well, that's what happens when you charge people $8 for a bottle of salad dressing. They expect some Something from you in return like oh i don't know transparency but because guess what that fosters trust but motley fool who doesn't have an interest in you know the big stock market stuff or anything <laughs> goes on to argue that <laughs> our regulators are perfectly great and they do oh, rigorous no, no, no. tests wait 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 he actually says since genetically engineered crops produce food with the same nutritional properties as crops grown from traditional breeding methods they are not classified any differently from traditional foods once they pass the gauntlet of regulatory tests examining their safety. It's a gauntlet. It's the gauntlet of an industry that regulates itself, essentially. It's gauntlet. It's very, it's hardcore. And you know, the relationship between biotech <laughs> and FDA is only so incestuous that it smells like a fart in the room or something. <laughs> Right to know laws also include the Food Quality Protection Act of 1996, which regulates pesticide residue levels in food, you know, not something you'd want to know anything about. Despite popular belief and misinformation, not all biotech seeds are engineered to produce and resist pesticide, though numerous varieties do, however, such as Monsanto's now infamous Roundup Ready soybeans and corn, you know, the Roundup Ready soybeans and corn that's basically 90% of the corn and soybeans in this country. But shouldn't they be labeled? Not quite. What anti-GMO activists tend to forget is that most crops, even those not genetically modified, are grown with pesticides. That's why the law was passed in the first place, to set acceptable pesticide residue thresholds. Because it's so great there's an acceptable threshold of synthetic neurotoxic chemicals in my food. Yay! Except now some plants grow their own pesticides and they accidentally forgot to test if it sticks into your gut bacteria and reproduce on its own. Well, I like to know all about this pesticide. Let's go on over to natural news so we can look at some of the studies on glyphosate oh look 
Glyphosate toxicity to humans, an overview. How about Roundup, the sneaky and cheap contraceptive hiding in your food? How about the facts on glyphosate, Satan's molecule? How about the EPA massively increasing the allowable herbicide levels? Wasn't it more than 3,000%? In some cases, it was more than 3,000%. And it was also increased in animal feed as well, way more than in our food. And those are the animals that people eat. So yay for that. But again, you don't want to know. Nobody wants to know, do you really have the right? You don't want to know. It's just going to foster mistrust for you to know. You can't handle the truth. I mean, why would we want a long-term study when we're all living in one? You're very comfortable, sheeple. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't feed it to you. Okay, one final, one final statement I just want to make here, okay? Even if GMO foods are the most bountiful, nutritious food mm, bountiful. that has ever hit a dinner plate in the history of time, it's not, by the way, because if it was, they'd be screaming it from the rooftops and labeling everything in triplicate. But let's just say for sake of argument that it was. Guess what? I'd still want to know if it was in my food. I would. I'd still want to know. Because guess what? I like to know what I'm eating. Oh, yeah. Then there's the whole thing about how it's accepted as totally equivalent to other foods. That's why the FDA gave it generally recognized as safe gross status to deny further testing. But those who have done testing have been totally marginalized and they act like those people don't exist and that they haven't identified some pretty severe risks with the GMO foods. Oh, and the part where the biotech industries threatened to sue independent researchers who didn't have permission to test their seed. I have a feeling that the FDA would say that a bag of broken glass was gross, okay? I have yet to see something they've said was not gross, okay? <laughs> Go find me that list. It's probably easier to read. I've interviewed too many people. This stuff is troubling. I've done enough homework to know I'm not at all comfortable with this. Well, just remember, being in the dark fosters trust, okay? You don't really have the right to know what you're eating. Wow.